Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how you can make changes uh, to the SQL instances uh, that you have created on uh, GCP. You might have created a, a SQL Server instance or a My MySQL or Postgres uh, SQL instance uh, and uh, you want to make some changes. Uh, let's see if this uh, does require restart uh, if you make some changes or not. Uh, let's go to the portal here and uh, now we have three instances here. Uh, I have uh, SQL Server 2019 Express and I have MySQL 8.0 and then I have a Postgres a SQL 14. Now all these instances are here and I have some goal to make changes. Let's go to the SQL Server instance first. Now once you click there, uh, what you are going to see, you are going to see a button called edit. Uh, this is the uh, same uh, in case of MySQL and Postgres as well. Uh, so this pen pretty much stays uh, here. You are going to go click on edit and then uh, you can make all those changes what you would like to do. In this case, uh, now uh, think about that if I am using a vCPUs1 and I would like to change and maybe make it uh, 2 and increase the memory or uh, increase the storage. So in some of the cases, uh, what you going to do if you make the change and uh, try to save it it will ask you uh, if uh, the restart is required so in those cases if it is, does require you to uh, you know restart maybe you can schedule it for some other time and make changes in the uh, may, maybe the time when you don't have whole lot of transaction going on or some uh, downtime that you have uh, as from the users now here I can uh, click on a uh, multi zone and uh, see right there uh, the change appeared there and now you you can go further in here and simply provide the secondary and primary zone. Now we go further down there and hit save. In this case, if uh, it is uh, telling us, hey, if you want to change from single uh, zone to the multi zone, it is uh, asking you to save and restart is required. So we are going to go ahead and cancel it. But uh, let's go back here and leave this one to the single zone now. And uh, let's go for another one. Now, if we need to make the changes to our uh, number of uh, vCPUs and memory, we can go right here. And now, if you see, if I will hit uh, save, it's going to ask me restart uh, as well. So I have noticed that uh, if you are making, uh, you know, some uh, uh, important uh, uh, configuration changes, uh, it's going to ask you to restart uh, because such as uh, you are changing the vCPUs, uh, memory, or zone, and all that. But if you are increasing, uh, let's say. If we go with the previous, don't make any changes. And here, uh, if you will go with the uh, 20, 10, uh, 10, uh, 20 GB to do 40 GB for your capacity, it uh, might not ask you for restart. Uh, so these kind of things, it's not going to ask you. Now, we can go back and uh, it is the uh, same in the change. And uh, this is how it is going to work. Uh, let's go to another instance and uh, take a look here. Now, if we go to the MySQL instance here, and now we will go edit and uh, same things there are some uh, you know features may maybe they are not available on the pan of uh, sql server but uh, pretty much you have all these uh, same uh, pans uh, available but in settings maybe there is some a couple of them like uh, uh, such as uh, point in time recovery wasn't there for sql server but it is uh, here in the mysql available now if you go here in the machine type uh, you can uh, go ahead and uh, change so in this case, uh, let's say I want to go for this one and uh, then I can uh, save it. It's going to ask me for the restart, but I'm not going to do restart here. So if you'll do it, then, uh, you know, it's, uh, you are going to have some downtime. So uh, in this case, uh, if you are not interested, that's fine. And now storage, as I said, that storage is not a big deal. You can increase and uh, then uh, you, if uh, you want to make changes to the public and private IP, you can make those changes. Then uh, you have... Uh, backups so here in my case i have not enabled the backups so if i want to go ahead and say automatic back backups enable and uh, then uh, i can go to advanced here and now you can see that uh, single region is fine for me and i have to select the region here and i'm going to go for south carolina now yeah, it keeps the uh, backups uh, for seven days you know uh, right there automated backups uh, to store and then uh, seven days retention policy is there so if i want to do 70 you know you can uh, uh, sorry uh, it, it does by default for seven days the max is uh, 365 days so if i do more than 365 days it's going to throw me an error so i can do max one uh, backup per day as 
and uh, for a whole year I can uh, keep uh, those backups uh, when I'm enabling automatic backups so uh, on-demand backups can be taken more often uh, uh, if you want now we can leave this one to seven days and uh, see right there this my uh, and uh, if we will enable point and recovery that might ask us uh, to restart the service but as I'm just uh, taking the backup let's say if I will hit save uh, let's do point and time recovery first and try to save it so we'll see so you see right there it is asking me hey save and restart so if you uh, make these type of changes uh, where uh, you know it has to start taking the uh, account the logs files and all those uh, then it's going to ask you this service service to be restarted uh, if i will uh, just uh, remove that and try to save it uh, it is still asking me because uh, i believe uh, uh, we have uh, for automatic backups yes for mysql it is asking uh, uh, for the SQL Server, it did not ask us uh, if uh, restart is required when we are uh, enabling the automatic uh, backups. Uh, so let me cancel this out. I want to go back here one time. It shouldn't be asking for automatic backups, uh, but uh, maybe this is uh, true. So if I go edit this MySQL again, go to backups, enable automatic backups, fine, leave everything as it is you know maybe region we can change and uh, if we change South Carolina and uh, seven days fine if I save yeah so there was some other change away what we did on top of that was was uh, the reason it was asking you to restart the service uh, but you don't have to in a restart the service uh, if uh, you are doing uh, just uh, automatic backups enable or disable so I can go back edit here and I can just simply go back here and uh, for the backups uh, I can just say don't take backups anymore so I can disable it and it's not gonna do anything so for maintenance uh, you know uh, any window later I don't think so this is also uh, going to ask you know uh, let's say Saturday so we are making two changes here we are disabling automatic backups and also we are making changes to the maintenance and let's see if it asks us to restart the service no did not so those uh, soft changes uh, that's not really require uh, to make uh, any effect with the rest restarting service such as um, enabling backup disabling backup maintenance you know enabling maintenance disabling maintenance uh, and all that you are fine uh, to make all those changes uh, but if you are making a uh, um, CPUs um, changes you know memory changes and all that then it's going to ask you to restart the service uh, and that's uh, true for SQL server or even uh, for MySQL and uh, I believe it's uh, stay the same way in uh, Postgres as well uh, so you will have a, we are in the Postgres uh, uh, instance right now and if I will go ahead and say hey I want to go ahead and uh, change the backups from uh, automatic I don't want anymore so it is going to go ahead and save it without uh, any uh, asking uh, to restart so now if i will go back here and try to sorry make uh, the uh, number of v cores uh, change you know let me see v v cpus not v cores just coming from uh, microsoft sometime that uh, terminology azure has that okay so um uh, here uh machine type right so if we go to machine type and here if I will do two vCPUs and then uh, if I will uh, go ahead and save it it's gonna ask me save and restart uh, and the rest of that you have flags here you have query insight and all those uh, this uh, feature probably is not uh, you're not gonna see this one on SQL server so there are some specific things uh, you know you see with SQL uh, there are some, some specific things you see settings uh, with the uh, uh, your uh, uh, MySQL and all that so each uh, instance has some of the small changes in the features and uh, see right there there is no query insight here in the SQL server tab so you, there are some uh, uh, you know small variations depending on the data type data base uh, you are selecting and then uh, you can go ahead and make the changes uh, um, uh, in your uh, SQL server uh, SQL instance uh, on uh, Google Cloud and uh, as you see that uh, there are some of them the changes will uh, require you to restart the service and some uh, don't uh, I hope uh, you learned something out of here and I thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys uh, in next video